Thanks for joining the snapshot for today, February 22nd. Do you remember how a year ago we could hardly believe the projections that there would be 150,000 people dying from COVID-19? And then couldn't believe the number 225,000 and now today, over a half a million Americans have died from this awful disease. So today we remember people in our families, our congregations, near neighbors and friends who have passed away from this disease. I think of George Wallace and Ruth Lane from our congregation, both dying at age 101, four days apart. Think of my friends, Pat and John Van Orsdal in a nursing home in Ohio. And we think about how their family members were unable to visit them until the very end, dressed in basically hazmat suits to hold hands and say goodbye. So I hope you will think of your family and friends and uh, we'll offer a prayer for them now. Holy God, holy and powerful by the death and burial of Jesus, your anointed, you have destroyed the power of death and made holy the resting places of all your people. Keep our brothers and sisters who have died from COVID in the company of all your saints. And at the last, O oh God, raise them up to share with all the faithful the endless joy and peace won through the glorious resurrection of Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, today, February 22nd, uh, is the anniversary of the, a very important event in 1915 when Germany began unrestricted submarine warfare around the British Isles. That unrestricted warfare by subs meant that they would uh, go after merchant ships no matter what was their country of origin. And of course that led eventually to the US joining in 1917 in the World War I war to end all wars, quote unquote, quoting Woodrow Wilson there. Um, and this made me think about a submarine event that happened in 1981. This is a, a happier story. In 1981, a nuclear powered submarine, a Russian submarine made its way through the islands and, and rocky shores of Sweden, which has a thousand mile coastline on the east side. And uh, it got stuck on the rocks. There were some fishermen who went out uh, in, uh, in uh, 1981 and saw an oil slick. And they came back later when the sun was up higher and lo and behold, they came up on this Russian sub stuck on the rocks, believe it or not. Well, that of course led to military flyovers, a lot of uh, Navy ships, a lot of, lot of uh, um, discussion between the captain of the submarine and Swedes. And uh, finally, after 10 days, uh, Swedish tugs pulled it off the rocks. But it, oh, that was like uh, Swedes 9-11 or D-Day for them. And it, uh, made Swedes just fear Russian submarines to a huge extent. I mean, they landed just on the rocks, just a few miles from a big naval base in Sweden. So for the next 10 years, they were paranoid as could be about Russians coming in. They, they uh, had, I think they called them hydrophones that they dipped into the water to listen to the sound of subs. And when they heard them, they dropped depth charges they sent out torpedoes to, towards where these signs were, these sounds were coming, they laid mines. There were dozens of contacts over the next 10 years, but no subs were ever hit or sunk and they couldn't figure it out until a man named Magnus Wahlberg was asked to give his opinion. Well, he listened to the sounds, these typical sounds that the military presented to him and he thought about it with a colleague and one day he was in a fish market and squeezed a herring you're gonna think I'm making this up, I'm not. And he noticed, well, the sound of that herring upon being squeezed was similar to the sound underneath the water that they thought was being made by Russian subs. Now, I have never said the word F-A-R-T-S in a snapshot, and I'm gonna just say passing gas. The sound, the sound that this Russian sub was making was actually the sound of millions of herring gas passers. My, my Swedish mother, Swedish by background, would only let us say the word pretta, which was the Swedish word for passing gas. Well, basically, it was the sound of millions of herring pretta events. And the, the uh, 
the fears were relieved. What a great story. Uh, what him to close with? How about a happy one? Let the whole creation cry, glory to the Lord on high. Heaven and earth awake and sing, praise to our almighty King. Praise God, angel hosts above, ever bright and fair in love. Sun and moon, lift up your voice. Night and stars in God rejoice. I hope you enjoy the day while you'll also remember those who have passed. <laughs>